The two largest provinces in Canada are taking their most extreme measures yet. As of midnight tonight, all non-essential businesses both in Ontario and in Quebec will shut down. They're ordered to do so. So we're looking this morning at what that means for both of the provinces. We have comprehensive coverage for you. Jay Turnbull is there in Montreal, and we're going to get to... Uh, Jay, in just a second, I want to introduce Megan Fitzpatrick, who is in Toronto for us in Queen's Park, which is the Ontario legislature. And Megan, if you will stand by, we're going to start with uh, with Jay and what is happening in Quebec. The premier describes it thusly, Jay, Quebec is going to be on pause for at least the next three weeks. What is going to be happening there and what information do we have so far about what will be closed and what will stay open? Well, Heather, as you mentioned, all non-essential services will be closing as of midnight. So it's easier to tell you what will be open. So we know that grocery stores will remain open. Of course, that's about as essential as you can get. So grocery stores will remain open. We've had long lineups inside and outside grocery stores for the past uh, several days now. It seems like months, but it's only been really uh, not like a week or so since this uh, thing has started. Uh, gas stations will remain open. Uh, drug stores, of course, people need their medication, so those will remain open. Uh, yesterday there were long lineups as well outside of uh, the uh, government-controlled uh, liquor stores as well as their, the marijuana shops. Uh, those, though, will remain open as well. The government considers those uh, to uh, things essential as well, so those will remain open throughout the province there was some concern of course that those were going to shut down so there's a mad rush people trying to to stock up on on, on liquor supplies but that seems to be uh, unnecessary uh, now uh, restaurants will be closed a lot of them have already been closed on their own you know see walking down the street it seems like one out of two has been shut down completely but now we know that the uh, delivery services will be open if people need some food uh, they can order online uh, public transit remains open taxis banks uh, so the reason they're we're asking why now well yesterday we had an extra 400 uh, increase of 400 people who tested positive for COVID-19 and that's partly in, due to how uh, the province is testing uh, people uh, but here's what Francois Legault had to say yesterday. In doing the lockdown today for three weeks we put chances on our side that it goes better after. It won't come uh, uh, from anywhere else than somebody else if you get the virus. So if you're alone at home, there's no risk. So it's important to say that. So right now, uh, as we know, police are um, sort of out in full force. They're being, you know, gatherings larger than two people are, are sort of, uh, they're not allowed right now. So police are getting a lot of calls, actually, inundated with calls from people saying, uh, look, there's a party going on down my street. This store is open. Why is it open? We're getting lots of emails here at CBC from people saying, why is my workplace open? They're not taking the proper precautions. So police are uh, being inundated with calls and they are reacting. They are going to these sites and trying to shut these people down if they are uh, gathering more than two people at once. Uh, and they are they do have the power now to hand out tickets to people who are not obeying the government rules we talked about Heather. that yesterday Jay how they have that state of emergency in place and giving the Montreal police extraordinary powers that they haven't mm. had since the ice storm in 1998 to do just that it's interesting to hear that Montrealers and Quebecers are taking that seriously and wanting to make sure that those in their communities are as well thank you Jay great to hear from you live this morning on what Quebec is doing Jay Turnbull there in Montreal uh, we're going to hear from the premier Francois Legault again today at 1 p.m. We understand that just announced along with in Ontario just across the border Doug Ford as well the Ontario Premier set to make his latest address at 1 o'clock and we will have coverage of both of those. Let's turn to the Ontario scene with Megan Fitzpatrick now as I mentioned she's at Queen's Park and that is the Ontario legislature. Megan we got from Quebec that list of essential services. I, we had a lot of reading to do you and I because there are long lists in both provinces <laughs> and they both came out late last night. So to Take us through what Ontario was shutting down as of midnight tonight. It's a pretty similar list uh, to Quebec, it sounds like, based on what I just heard Jay saying, Heather. So on the lengthy list of essential services and stores that will remain open, grocery stores, convenience stores, pet food stores, uh, pharmacies as well. Um, other things, uh, it's broken down by category, by the way, the list that is on the Ontario government's website, IT services, 
office supplies, very important, as we know, for a lot of people across the country, but here in Ontario that are working from home these days. Gas stations will be open. The LCBO, uh, the liquor stores in Ontario, will remain open, but Heather, I just learned that they have announced they will now close on Mondays completely, so they will only be open Tuesdays through Sundays, and they have already reduced their hours, uh, only uh, open now between 11 and 6. Hardware stores will remain open. Taxis, like Jay said, as well in Quebec, uh, food remains only uh, delivery or takeout only, so restaurants remain closed. No dine-in services available, just takeout and online. Hardware stores um, open as well. So that does not that leaves some things <laughs> off that list that will be closed. Things like hair salons and nail salons, clothing stores. But keep in mind, a lot of big retail chains have already proactively decided to close their stores. Now, these uh, conditions again, these uh, businesses that are not on this list being told to close by midnight tonight and these orders are in place for the next 14 days in Ontario but the premier did leave the door open yesterday when he made this announcement that they might possibly extend these closures bef uh, beyond the 14 days. One specific question Megan because I'm hearing it from many people what about construction sites did they make the list of essential or are they going to be shut down? Some of them are on the essential list, Heather. So there's a couple of bullet points under the construction heading on that list, and it includes projects related to the healthcare sector. So if any hospitals are under construction or expansions of hospitals, those will be allowed to go on. Same thing with projects related to transportation and transit. The list also says that demolition projects can continue, any kind of demolition project. Doug Ford, the Premier, was asked about construction sites yesterday, the safety of them, if enough is being done to keep people working in those sites safe and healthy. Take a listen to part of his response. Message to every construction worker in this province. You don't feel safe. You don't feel that you have the proper equipment or the company's not keeping you safe. Leave the site. Leave the site and don't come back. And not just with the construction sites, Heather, uh, the Premier, the government has been saying for businesses that are staying open, that are on that list, make sure you're keeping your employees safe and healthy. And for those that have to close down, uh, the province is reminding businesses that they can continue to operate essentially online or having their staff at home, saying telework is allowed, online commerce is allowed for all businesses at all time. And one thing to listen for tomorrow, Ontario's finance minister will be making some announcements related to support for businesses affected by the pandemic. It was supposed to be budget day in Ontario tomorrow, Heather, but instead they'll be providing an economic update and likely in that we'll have some relief for businesses. Sounds good, Megan. Thank you very much. Megan Fitzpatrick in Toronto.